Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead. I know guys, I apologize about the late upload. I know usually you guys are supposed to be getting a Crafting Dead video around 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time and a Minecraft Survival Let's Play around 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But today has been kind of a hectic day, but I still wanted to get that double upload for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. And also, today is a big episode, mainly because we're back on Atlanta 1. Yes, I said it. I think it's time for me to take it back from the big cities and uh, I think head back back to Atlanta. Even though Atlanta it has a pretty big city, it's more rustic. It kind of has that cabin look feel to it because, you know, everything's spread out. And I like it like that. I think it brings back the survival aspect to the crafting dead. So, if you guys are as excited as I am for the return of Atlanta 1, make sure you guys all hit that like button. Let's see if we can reach 100 likes for the return of Atlanta 1. And also, don't forget to give me let me know your comments as well, as I love to hear your opinions on the return of Atlanta 1. Now, what this means is I won't be giving up on Dead Island and um, Somerset, but for the most part, I am going to be on uh, the Atlanta 1 servers, mainly because... I want to come back and enjoy my time, you know, surviving as a survivor. Because for the most part, you know, on Dead Island and Somerset, even though I do enjoy, um, you know, the the map and things of that nature, it's just too much action when it comes to just killing. There's so much stuff around that that it just takes away from me being a survivor. And that's what I want to do and that's what I want to focus on. So with that being said, hear me out, guys, and let me know what you guys think about this idea in the comment sections. It's time to return and I think it's time. And also, I'm not gonna be using any kits right now. I'm just gonna be surviving with what I get as loot. And once in a while, if I feel like I want to, I'll use a kit. But for now, I feel comfortable enough to go on and survive and find resources because that way, it brings back the good old vibes. And if you guys don't know, Atlanta 1 was the first time really I've been doing the uh, server series on my channel. It's kind of where everything started and it, to me, it brings back good vibes and I think good vibes always bring brings out better quality videos because Dead Island and Somerset, even though it was great, it just took away from that survivor feeling and kind of like searching and scavenging and not always dying 24 seven, even though it happens sometimes, but I personally like this more. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, your opinions matter a lot, but I think returning to Atlanta one is a good change for me. And I think it's gonna bring back my mood on the crafting dead because I did miss, you know, surviving, walking around, checking out places. And uh, yeah, now this is a pretty hefty base here. I must say so myself, uh, but we're gonna keep looking around for the most part. I think I'm going to go across this mountain and see what I can find. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find, uh, who knows, like a little cabin. Um, I miss those cabins. They bring back good vibes of those, you know, good times on Atlanta 1. And for the most part, if you can find some of that, it would be a great place to pick off some loot. Because not a lot of people check out the cabins. They go to the cities. And that's what I like about this. It's not just city. It's nature. It's a lot of area just to, like, settle down and hold off for a few days. Now, I see some stuff up there. I think it's a, a rural building broken down from the rough environment of the post-apocalyptic world. So uh, I'm going to go check that place out. Usually they have some good loot. So I'm going to go check it out. Let's eat a power bar as we're climbing up here, hiking our way to the top. Now we don't have a lot of good gear, but uh, for the most part, it's not too bad. It's it's doable, but I hopefully we can find some more supplies up in here. All right. Let's see. Oh, yes, food. Food is actually really crucial because not having a kit, food gets really, you know, and actually, for the most part, being on Atlanta, it's actually really important to have a lot of food because there's a lot of walking involved. And that is another aspect of why I think Atlanta 1 is just my favorite all-time map because I think it makes sense for any player to be walking around, oh, Fireman's Axe, to be walking around looking for supplies and, and kind of scavenging. And I think that's why I enjoy this so much. What is this? Is this rotten milk? Oh, spoiled milk. No, I need spoiled milk. Unless we have cereal, then maybe. Ugh, no, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, iced tea. And also, it's important to be hydrated as much as possible. So that's another big uh, aspect here. Let's keep looking around. I'm not seeing much. Oh, yes, soda. Perfect. We're going to keep the soda. Even though we have an empty flask, we can always fill it up next time we come around a pond or something or water. Oh, is that a per? Oh, that looked like a person for a second. Oh, some ammo. Now, do we have a weapon? No, we do not. Okay, so we do have some items for a weapon if, 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 we, if we come across one, but for now, this is okay. Now, uh, I think we came from up there. Yeah, we did. So, did we come up from there? No, I don't think so. 
I'm trying to think here for a second. Yeah, we did. That's the place we actually went to, and then we went down that road. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna continue. Um, I think we're gonna go follow this path because that path I think leads to another city. Um, or another town which I want to you know gather up as much supplies as possible because as I mentioned I'm not gonna be using any kits and I also wanted to mention the challenges won't be and coming to an end I'm still gonna do the crafting and challenges and things like that But um, the reason why you know I want to switch over to Atlanta is because I really do miss it I miss it a lot and it brings back good memories And I think you guys the OG people that have been watching my craft and dead server series for such a long time Will remember the good times we had on Atlanta and I think coming back to to Atlanta is just gonna freshen up the series again and kind of change it up you know change up the rhythm which is what I'm looking forward to so it's always fantastic and plus who is hyped for the Walking Dead season 7 guys I am just so thrilled for that I remember when uh, we had Atlanta um, I would always talk about the Walking Dead and the series and it was always a good time so I like it it brings back good vibes now this is I believe is another big building now this place I remember for the most part had a dock as well so it had supplies here that we can gather up so that guy is smart for building his uh, little base down there eventually we're gonna have to build ourselves a base too but this place has loot and i'll tell you that much there's good loot around here so we're gonna get ourselves whatever we can find uh we don't need that oh so there was someone around here a lot of stuff hmm we got to be careful guys we got to be careful oh that's uh what's it called a fuel tank I'm gonna put on this helmet. I like the camo helmet. I believe this goes downstairs. This is a frying pan. I don't think I need a frying pan. Oh, there's a tunnel. What I wanna do is I wanna check the upstairs quickly and see if I can find any other supplies. Oh, turn day. That was quick. <laughs> okay. Oh, another fuel tank. I think I'm gonna store this in my E chest mainly because this is some good. Oh my goodness. I have stuff in my E chest. What? Since when? What is this stuff? Uh, can I take an M1 Grand, guys? Okay, cool. Thanks. I, I, I knew you guys would be happy with that. <laughs> Just an M1 Grand. It would be really cool to have it on my back as a side weapon. So we're going to store that on the back. And plus, it looks freaking awesome like this. Look at that. It looks like a survivor type thing. So I'm going to use that for emergencies only. Oh, an empty syringe and a tan helmet. I think I don't like the tan helmet. I want to go with this camo and yellow shirt. It looks actually kind of cool. All right, so we're organizing our things. We're kind of gathering up some good supplies for the most part. Um, I think we need to get some water. All right, I don't see anyone around. Oh, do I see someone here? I feel like it's a slight glitch. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Let's keep going down. Let's see what else we can find. I think it was the helmet that was glitching out. Um, all right, let's make our way down. Hopefully there's no one around here. And let's check out this uh, little hallway down here. So hopefully there's no one here. I want to make a safe, you know, trip around the tunnels. But sometimes there's some good loot around here. It's just a small little travel, but it's still cool because you can find some things here and there. All right. Now, I want to check out the deck. There it is, the little dock here. Uh, they have some good supplies. A golf club, Santa hat, oh, tactical bacon, empty soda can, and a wrench. Not the best, but it's always good to get something, you know? It's not always the worst case scenario. I'm going to store some stuff in here. Bam. There we go. And let's fill up our flask as well. Drink up some water, get some hydration, fill it up again, and I believe... This zombie is, try is trying to get to me, but he can't. Uh, let me actually get that canteen. It is full. Okay, good. So we're going to keep it in our backpack, and we're going to make our way. We're going to continue to travel. I don't really have an area where we're going to settle down, but as of right now, I just want to keep walking. I just want to go and explore and see what else is around here as I miss Atlanta. But even though I know Atlanta really well, I still enjoy going around here. Um, I think I'm going to go straight. I like going straight. I think straight would be a good area right around here would be, if I'm not mistaken, there should be another cabin type area for the most part. So, uh, let's go see if we can find some other buildings. Now, the only thing is dangerous is sometimes when you run across some more buildings around here, you can enter a moment where it's like, whoa, there's too many people and they get nervous. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about for the most part was, guys, if you run into me, don't kill me right off the way, uh, right off the bat because I'm actually going to try and be a friendly survivor. I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to work with you, trade for any supplies that I may need and that you may need. And it could be a perfect, you know, little encounter and then back off on your way. So if you see me on the server, don't think that I'm going to come and kill you. I'm, I'm, I'm friendly. I'm friendly for now unless things get really awful then who knows I might switch but as of right now you know I'm gonna be friendly I'll, I'll make sure that I don't take one out we'll be good okay a fair trade makes a good day for the fox <laughs> all right let's keep looking around I think there's a little village around here oh is that someone there no it's not okay 
Now, I don't have any weapons, I just have melee weapons, so that can always be another concern, because if someone has a gun, I am in big trouble, because I cannot defend myself, really, with a melee weapon, unless he's really close. Now, is this coming to the edge of the coast? I think it is. And if that's the case, usually there's a big city around here, or one of those smaller, big towns. Uh, so, ooh. We're running low on food, but I do have some canned tuna. I can eat up on that. Okay, that's good. So let's keep looking around. Um, for the most part, I believe there's a city around here. And another thing I like, you know, as I talked about, was the fact that it's not all city. You know, there's areas where you have to walk around, kind of go through the woods. And I just really like that. It brings back just a fun survival aspect of the post-apocalyptic world. And I think that's what, you know, I was lacking and missing in my older videos, or my recent videos, actually, on Somerset and uh, Dead Island. It just felt too much city. And, and that, for me, kind of brought the aspect of just people going all ham and just trying to kill each other with guns and and that i was not a big fan of i kind of just enjoyed traveling around like we did on the old times and that's why i brought bringing it back like this right now so hopefully you guys support this idea now this is a long path which is not too bad i wonder where this leads now if i'm not mistaken this could lead to uh some homes but for some reason, I have a feeling that it could be a military base around here. Now, there are some coordinates to military bases around here. So, uh, eventually, we're going to go check them out. But it looks like these are some people's bases, which is good to know where they are. And they're actually quite, you know... Oh, what is this? What is this, guys? That's interesting. Looks like uh, someone may have had a flamethrower. Huh. I don't know. I, I, all I know is that's like a flamethrower type uh, particle. We're going to follow the flamethrower particle, guys, because this looks like it's leading to somewhere for some reason. Um, unless it ends here. Oh, no, it goes around here. Let's keep following it. Who knows where this could lead? I feel like this is a flamethrower particle for the most part. This looks like there's a lot of bases around here, so I'm not going to really mess around too much. Uh, so let's keep walking around to that distance to see if we can find anything else. Um, but it's good to know where the bases are because eventually I want to build a small base. I think that would be really nice. Um, and I like that, I think. That would be nice. Um, ooh, is that a person? No, it's a walker. Sometimes the walkers really do look like people because now the clothing is becoming to have that like kind of look to it. It'd be really intense if they add like a, a zombie kind of like clothing, uh, which would be kind of cool because in The uh, Walking Dead, they would have those you know, the zombie guts and hanging from their shirts and kind of like blending in. I think that would be a really cool thing to have, like a camouflage walking dead uh, type, you know, t-shirt or something or pants that they can use uh, on this server and you guys can use, which would be really awesome. And I think it would be fun if they, if they have it and it would be rare to find or you can make it after you kill a zombie. You can collect something from the zombie to make yourself like a, a rag that you can just throw on yourself, like a shirt. And then from there, you can actually maybe kind of walk in disguise for a bit, which would be really cool. So maybe I may talk to uh, Andrew and, and see uh, if that can be something, because I think that's a unique idea. Oh my gosh, we got the chat here. Dino Batgirl. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Oh my god, I'm a big fan of your YouTube Chan. Um, I can be in a crafting dev video, please. Well, you made it in a recording. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> there you go so little thanks to uh dino batgirl for the support on the channel i appreciate it shout out to you um let's see what what he or she says uh this would be great let's see what she doesn't get it <laughs> i'm recording wait recording i'm recording a video and people can see what you're saying oh there you go <laughs> Now, now they get it. Now they get it. Hi, you. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. What's up? <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it. Now, I now now they get it. Oh, she wants. Okay, you know what? He or she wants a TP accept. Why not? I guess. Can I join you? Why not? You have a few more minutes. You. Oh my goodness. You are you are uh, decked out. It is a girl. Okay. You are completely like set up like that is intense i like it i like it all right so let's keep walking around and uh we didn't run into any cities we pretty much saw the areas where the bases are so that's fine by me oh there is another place down there what is that is that a building that someone built that is intense i want a building like that all right so for the most part if you guys enjoyed today's episode please let me know in the comment sections your advice goes a long way what's up what's up what's up <laughs> just walking around i like it okay let's take out some of these zombies these walkers there we go. I like the teamwork. I like it. All right, let's keep looking around. Now, this is a big base. I believe this is attached. Where to? Uh, well, we're just going to be walking around. Soon finishing 
or fin video. So as we ke oh getting something from the backpack, I see. Let's see anything in here that I can throw in. Uh, oh yeah, canned food for sure and the ammo. All right. Oh, watch out! I gotta save you. There we go. Oh, she's throwing down some food. Uh, do I have any food? Do I have any food? No, I do not. That's an issue. Um, let me say. Oh, perfect. Is she dropping some food? I can maybe ask food question mark. And then we'll end off today's episode. And as you can see, they're friendly. The people here are friendly. They're not gonna attack me like they do sometimes in Dead Island. But uh, let's see. Uh, do you have any food, please? Food, please. Please. <laughs> Wait, one sec. Wait here. Glitching. BRB. No. I need food. No. <laughs> well, it's actually a perfect time to end off today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode on Atlanta, make sure you guys do hit that like button. It goes a long way. And plus, there's going to be a lot more things. We're going to go and explore some cabins, some little villages, and check out some looting. And I don't want to use any kits. I want to survive, and I want to see how far I can take this, guys. Thank you again for watching. Again, leave your comments down below and any suggestions. But I think it's time to join Atlanta 1 once more and have our journey and just see how it works out. Oh, oh, wow. Well, it's actually perfect. Some crates. Wait, can I pick it up? <gasps> what happened to the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's check it out. We got one, two. Wow, what are the odds? Two nightsticks. Oh, some food. Thank you. Thank you, Dino. Appreciate it. All right, let's eat up, and then we're going to end off our episode today, guys. If you enjoyed, again, as I mentioned, let me know in the comment sections. And, uh, yeah, guys, peace out, and stay foxy. Catch you guys later.